What should be the minimum drip rate for preventing freezing? Hello everyone. Today we're tackling a common winter problem, freezing pipes. As the mercury drops, many homeowners worry about their pipes freezing and bursting. But there's a simple solution, maintaining a minimum drip rate. In this video, we will talk about how much water you should let drip to prevent your pipes from freezing. Why is a drip rate important? Water expands when it freezes. When this happens in a confined space like a pipe, it puts tremendous pressure on the pipe material, potentially causing it to burst. A dripping faucet can provide relief from the excessive pressure that builds up between the faucet and the ice blockage when freezing occurs. It's the pressure, not the ice, that leads to pipe bursts. So, what's the ideal drip rate? The big question is, what should be the minimum drip rate to prevent freezing? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer because it depends on a few factors such as the outside temperature, the insulation of your home, and the pipe's exposure. However, a general guideline is to let your faucet drip at a rate of about 5 drops per minute. This will allow enough water flow to prevent freezing under most conditions. Can the drip rate vary? Yes, it can and should. As we just mentioned, the drip rate isn't a fixed rule but more of a guideline. If temperatures drop extremely low, or if your pipes are particularly exposed or poorly insulated, you might need to increase the drip rate to a steady trickle. Remember, it's better to err on the side of caution here. A higher water bill is far preferable to the expense and inconvenience of a burst pipe. That wraps up our discussion on the minimum drip rate to prevent freezing pipes. Remember that each situation can be unique, so adjust your drip rate accordingly. Be vigilant, especially during the colder months of the year, and keep those pipes flowing. Thanks for watching, and stay warm out there.